Hi, second grade. So the last couple of lessons, we've been practicing how to add uh, three-digit numbers um, using the standard algorithm, that vertical way. And so I feel like we're getting pretty comfortable with that. I'm going to go ahead and now we're going to start practicing um, the subtraction, this um, uh, standard algorithm with subtracting um, three-digit uh, numbers. So it's um, kind of the same thing with how we um, added um, with me using those place value disks. I'm not going to put them up here. I'm just going to use the marker colors, okay? Um, so let's start out with the first problem and we'll go from there, okay? All right, so I just want you watching for now. Okay, so I'm gonna make my hundreds chart. My hundreds, my tens, and my ones. Okay, and so here's our first problem. It's going to be 138 minus, subtracting, take away, 17. Now notice what Miss White did. I didn't put my 17 like this because my place values wouldn't um, be in a line, in alignment, okay? Like, my ones are under my tens, I don't have anything under my ones, and my tens are under my hundreds. So we have to make sure that the ones, tens, and hundreds are lined up so nicely that we can really distinguish which one is the tens, the ones, and the hundreds. So once we have it in vertical form, 138 take away 17. So some of us like to, like, when we added before, we were adding both of the numbers because we were adding them together. But subtraction, we're taking this bottom number, 17, and we're taking it out of 138. We're not going to put them together. We're taking 17 out of 138, okay? So I'm only gonna put that top number down. We have 100, we have three tenths. Oh, my green marker. And we have eight ones. Okay, 138, easy peasy, okay? Now, again, we start with the ones, always. It wants you sub to subtract seven ones. Do we have seven ones to take away? Yeah, we have eight, so of course we do. So, we take our marker, and we cross off seven ones. How many are left? You got it, one right there. So we have one left. Eight take away seven is one, okay? Eight ones take away seven ones, one. Now we move to our tens column, okay? There are three green dots I know, oops, sorry. Um, there are three green dots, three tens. We have three tens take away one ten. So take one away. We have how many left? We have two tens left, two tens left. So three take away one ten. Three tens take away one ten is two tens, which brings it to 21, but we're not done yet because we still have the hundreds place. Ooh, there's nothing in this area to take away. So that's easy. We just leave it as a one. So what's my answer? 121. Okay, but here's the part that we have not done yet in our class, and it is uh, checking our answer to see if it's really right. And we do this through addition, because you guys are pros at addition. You take 138, take away 17, gives us the 121. So you take your answer, and you take whatever you subtracted, and you add these two together. So now you have 121, plus 17. And if we're right, it should give us this answer of 138, okay? So 121 plus 17, so we're gonna really quickly add the ones first, one plus eight. One plus seven is eight, eight ones. Two tens plus one ten is three tens. And 100 plus zero is still 100. Does that match that? Absolutely, so we know that 121 is the correct answer, okay? We're gonna start to do that more often because 
we're just double checking our answers. Because if those two didn't add up, if they weren't the same, then we know that we made a mistake somewhere, okay? So we're gonna do one more subtraction problem. Then I'm gonna give you some time to practice, okay? So here we go, what's another one? Ooh, 445. So oh, here's my 110. 445, and we're taking away 35. We're taking away, we're subtracting, okay? So if I have, remember, we're not gonna put that 35 up there, just the 445, because we're taking away the 35 from the 445. We're not adding to it, okay? Always gotta remember that. So we have four hundreds. How many tens? Yep, four. Oh, come on, green. And five ones. Here we go. Start with your ones. Do we have five ones that we can take away? We do, but do we have any left? Nada. So we have zero left. Five take away zero. Five take away zero gives us zero left. Now we moved our tens. If you can see that, I do have four tens here, four tens. We're taking away three of them. And how many are left? Just that one, one ten is left. And do we have any hundreds that we have to take away? Nope, so those four stay. Oops, those four stay. So my answer is 410, okay? So if you saw five take away five, zero, four take away three is one, and four take away zero is four. Again, checking our answers. We're gonna take, since it's 445, and we're taking away 35, and it gave us 410. If you take your answer and you add the thing that we took away, so 410 and we're adding 35 to it, it should, if we're right, give us 445. Let's check. So zero plus five is five. One plus three is four. And four plus nothing is still four. So we have 445, we match, okay? Awesome, we are going to do one more and then I'm gonna let you practice. One more, I wanted to give you one kind of tricky one, but I don't think it's gonna trick you guys too bad. Here we go, we have 472 take away 228. 472 take away 200 and, is it 228. Ooh, hoo, hoo. Here we go. Here's the one I wanted. Again, do we put both of those numbers up here? No, just the one that we're taking away, or just the one that we're not taking away from. So 472, we're taking away 228 from that big number, okay? So we have four hundreds. We have seven tens. Seven tens and we have two ones. Alrighty, now here is the trick. We're taking away eight ones, where well, that's what we're supposed to do. Do we have eight ones? No, we have two. So what are we gonna have to do? We are gonna have to borrow from our tens, okay? When we borrow, we can borrow, when we cross out a 10, it can give us 10 ones back, okay? So, that the ones column's gonna have to grab from the tens and put 10 ones down here, okay? I took a 10 away and I just put 10 ones down here. Still the same thing. But now, looking at our ones column, do we have enough to take away eight? Well, yeah, now we have 12, okay? 
We have 10 plus 2, which is 12. We have 12 ones that we, we can work with. And we only have to take away 8 of them. So I'm going to take away 8. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So how many do I have left? We have 4 left. Okay? And then we need to take away 2 tens. Well, we got to take, there's 1 ten. Two tens are taken away. We have one, two, three, four tens left. And we need to take away two hundreds. Can we take away two hundreds? Yeah. One, two. How many hundreds do we have left? Two. So what's my answer? 244. That is using the place value disks. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to do it with just the standard subtraction algorithm. So we didn't have eight. So what did we do? We borrowed right? We borrowed from the tens, leaving that with only six. And that, like I told you, became 12. So instead of two ones, there were 12 ones now. 12 take away eight gave us the four. Six take away two gave us four. And four, take, it's like six tens take away two tens gave us four tens. And then four hundreds take away two hundreds. Four hundreds, take away two hundreds, give us two, leaving us with 244 as our answer, okay? So um, again, let me really quickly um, give you a couple problems, and um, I'm going to give you two problems for today, okay? I'm going to do this quickly so that you guys don't take forever. All right, here we go. So here's the first problem is 418 minus 274. So 418 minus 274, okay? 274, good. And then our last one is 567. 567, take away, subtract, 184. Okay, you have one, two, okay? All right. Um, take pictures if you can. When you figure it out, let me know, and good luck. You'll do great.